So, Celia, how are you feeling today? I feel very good today. Good. This is your uh, third day of surgery? When, when did you get... Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, we did the mini gastric bypass, yes. and this is Friday. Yes. So, we call it as second post-operative day, because we don't count the day zero. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yesterday was day one, and today is uh, day two, as per our medical protocols. So, okay. now you're getting discharged. Yes. And about your history, as I'm looking uh, in your file, you got... Uh, uh, your cardiac bypass surgery done. That one year was ago, I had a heart one attack. One year back, you had mm -hmm. a heart attack and, and you got open heart surgery. Quadruple bypass surgery. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Bypass surgery. Yes. Okay. Any other issues you had? You were using CPAP I uh, have machine. CPAP. Okay. And um, I, I have trouble walking. Okay. And I, I'm breathless. Right. I have a lot of health problems. Okay. So, as we can see, yours was a relatively high-risk case yes, for surgery, as you understand. I understood. So, what's your experience and how do you feel after getting the surgery done? I feel great. I feel so relieved. Um, the reason I did this is because I did have one heart attack mm -hmm. and I don't want to have further cardiac problems. Mm -hmm. And I just want to feel better mm -hmm. and be healthy. Yeah. Your cholesterol and triglycerides have been always high on higher side. Yes, Probably yes. that was the reason why you had heart attack, actually. Yes. Right. So, uh, about this surgery, uh, what I want uh, to explain to you is mm -hmm. one special thing is that it takes very less time to do. Like in your case, we took about 25, 26 minutes. Mm -hmm. In all the cardiac patients who have underwent surgeries, we don't want to give long anesthesia because that's how we can make the surgery safe. Yes. Short anesthesia, short surgery duration means you would wake up quickly. Mm -hmm. And when were you walking after surgery? Oh, just within a couple of hours. Yeah. So no that's time. that. What exactly we want? Patients no should be out of bed within a mm -hmm. couple of hours of surgery. That's how we can make the thing safe because safety mm -hmm. is our prime concern. In the old techniques, which used to take around two hours for surgeries in such kind of patients, it was, uh, you know, big, big trouble. Uh, keeping the patient knocked out on the operation table for two hours and then the patient would be in the bed for another 24 hours, mm -hmm. not getting out of bed. So that is what used to add to the problems. So once you are out of bed within a couple of hours, that brings safety to the procedure. And what are you eating or drinking now? What I'm drinking is water, mm -hmm. um, tea mm -hmm. with sugar, mm -hmm. um, soup, and mm -hmm. dal, chicken okay. soup and dal soup. Right. Yeah. So another uh, special thing with this mini gastric bypass is that we do not only rely upon restriction because there is some bypass added to your tummy which is gone small, but the outlet is big. So yes. that, that's a, another reason why we start uh, with semi-solids uh, quickly after surgery. So now you can take any semi-solid, just go slow, chew well. Yes, I have to go very slow. And listen to your tummy. When it becomes yes. full, just stop yes. there. And, and I do fill up very quickly. Yes. Yes. So, so <laughs> that's the reason why I love this procedure, because it is so safe, even in such mm -hmm. difficult cases. You can be out of bed, you can be eating. We don't ne need to give you IV drips or injections for long right. days, you know, not for two, three days, just for uh, on the mm -hmm. same day or maybe till next morning, then we take everything off and you're on the oral medication. That's what I liked so, about yeah, it too. Yeah. So, and uh, you're back to a normal diet within a week of surgery. Yes. Because earlier, uh, this was kind of nightmare. Nobody would believe that. And after bariatric mm -hmm. surgery, how can you be on solids within seven days? Uh, it was, even if you look on internet, it's generally recommended to be on liquid diet for at least for six weeks. I think you must have already checked all this. Oh, I have. In a patient like you who has already got uh, cardiac surgery done, mm -hmm. we don't want you to have nausea or vomiting because that would add to the stress yes. of surgery. Yes. So a patient should be comfortable after surgery. Yes. So especially such kind of patients or old patients, we don't want to see them nauseated or vomiting. Yeah. Rather, it's not good for any patient. No. no. So this is another thing which we like about mini gastric bypass that it helps you change your habits. Otherwise, with other plain restrictive techniques, patient was always 
you know, kind of uh, fighting for eating something and if mm-hmm. you, it's not going down, you cannot eat, then you will try something else, some liquids, some soda pops, and those things go down easily. So that's why the restrictive techniques would kind of push the patient towards soft calories, but MGB would push you away from soft calories. Mm-hmm. Because you can, when you can eat solid food, why would you try even uh, having these you know, liquids with high sugar sure. content and more so when your body doesn't like it. So, so no diet charts, but still uh, less sugar and high protein. Okay. That's always it should be your focus. Uh, do you take non-veg food? Yes. Yeah, so after about another week, you should be taking a solid chicken or fish. Okay. If it is roasted, your body would uh, love it. If it is having a lot of fat, because of the bypass, you will literally yeah. see the fat getting out next day in the toilet seat you'll see the fat or oil floating on the toilet seat so okay. that's another good thing uh, you can anytime you can try fat challenge take two spoonfuls of oil next day you'll <laughs> see it floating on the toilet seat so mm. uh, fat is going to push away out of the body so uh, high protein less sugars and after about three weeks of uh, surgery you should be going to the gym doing exercise okay we, we need to tone up the body uh, at least three times in a week you should be going to gym and that gives you happiness that tones up your body and uh, increases your appetite I have seen those patients who are doing exercise they are more energetic at the same time they're eating more than other patients because they have more energy and appetite also increases and exercise releases some chemicals inside the blood body Mm -hmm. and dolphins which give you mood elevation yeah, all the times you're happy. So your job, your business, your family life, everything will be good if you spend 20 minutes on your body. If you can do that every day, that would be really big. Okay. At least you can do some stationary cycling or some cross trainer. 20. That should be in your home, in your bedroom rather, 20 minutes every day. Okay, that right? sounds good. Okay. okay. Thank you, Dr. Pilar. Yeah.